Hi, my name is Mrs. Hineman and I'm here today to talk to you about avocados. I love avocados. There's actually hundreds of different types of avocados that are grown around the world. In the United States, avocados are grown mostly in California or Florida. My two favorite types of avocados are a Haas avocado, and you can see how it has a little bit of a pebbly skin and they have a really buttery taste. I also like bacon avocados and they have a smoother skin and they have a little bit of a lighter taste. When you are going to eat an avocado, you wanna make sure to first rinse it off in the sink and then use a knife to cut it in half, but you wanna make sure to use a spoon to scoop out the seed. That'll help keep you safe in the kitchen. There are lots of different ways to eat an avocado. Of course, you can scoop out the flesh and make it into guacamole. You can also add avocado to sandwiches and smoothies, and you can add avocado slices as a topping to things like soup or eggs. A serving size of an avocado is half a cup or one cupped handful. Avocados are an excellent source of fiber and monounsaturated fat, and they're also a good source of vitamin C, vitamin B6, folate, potassium, and vitamin K. Since avocados are high in healthy fats, let's learn a little bit more about fat. Fat helps to keep us warm, it gives us energy, and it helps protect our organs. There are three main types of fat. There's unsaturated fat, saturated fat, and trans fat. Unsaturated fat are liquid, is liquid at room temperature. It's found in things like oils, such as olive oil, and fish like salmon and sardines. They are really good for you. Saturated fats are usually solid at room temperature. They're found in things like meat and dairy products and oils such as palm and coconut oils. Saturated fats are fine to eat in small amounts. Trans fat is found in foods like potato chips, cookies, donuts, and some margarines. Companies like to add trans fats to foods to help it stay longer on the shelves. You should only eat trans fat on occasion and the foods that trans fat is found in are sometimes foods. Avocados grow on a tree and those trees can be anywhere from 20 to 80 feet tall. So those trees can get to be really tall. When you're looking for avocados in the store, you wanna make sure to pick one that's firm, but that yields a little bit to a touch. If you have to purchase a hard avocado, you can go ahead and put it in a brown bag in the pantry and it'll ripen up but you wanna make sure that the avocado is not near apples or bananas because those can actually make it taste a little mushy and give it some brown spots. If you have ripe avocados, you can store them in the fridge for up to a week to help keep them from getting overripe. And if you cut an avocado in half and you only wanna eat half of it, save the half that has the pit in it and you can also add a little acid such as lemon juice or lime juice and that'll help, it from getting, help keep it from turning brown. Let's learn some cool facts about avocados. Avocados are actually classified as a fruit and a berry. They are really high in protein and fat, which is unusual for most fruits. And if you take out the pit of an avocado and you crush it, a milky liquid is released. And that actually used to be used as ink in olden days. It can be red or black, and it can be used currently as a natural food dye. Thanks for learning with us.